Hello and welcome to Metsmerizing.com. The topics that we'll study today are So, without further ado, let's begin. Now, seventh graph that we'll study is graph of circles. The basic equation of circle is given as x square plus y square equals a square. So, center of the circle is at origin and radius is equal to a. So, if I have to draw this graph, then I'll simply draw a circle with center at 0 and radius a. So, say for example, I have to draw this circle x square plus y square is equal to 4. Now, center at origin and radius 2. So, this is the graph of x square plus y square is equal to 4. Now, what if I write this equation as y square equals 4 minus x square or I can write y equals plus or minus under root of 4 minus x square. Suppose someone says draw the graph of this function y equals under root of 4 minus x square. Now if I'm going to square this function, I'll get the same circle. But because it's a positive sign here, so that means it will represent that part of the circle which lies above x-axis. So in this case, it will represent a semicircle. And what if I say draw the graph of y equals minus under root of 4 minus x square. So again, it will represent the same circle, but here it will represent part of the circle which is negative. So which is semicircle which lies below x-axis. Now, eighth graph that we'll study is graph of parabolas. Now, taking a as a positive number, we have four different forms of parabolas. y square is equal to 4ax, which is first form. Second form is y square is equal to minus 4ax. Third form is x square equals 4ay. And fourth form is x square equals minus 4ay. Now, in the first case, it will represent a parabola opening rightwards. Now, in the second case, it will represent a parabola opening leftwards. In third case, it will represent a parabola opening upwards. And in the fourth case, it will represent a parabola opening downwards. Now, say for example, I have to draw the graph of y equals minus 3x square. So when I see this, so this x square and then minus 1 upon 3y, which is fourth form. So graph of this parabola will be parabola opening downwards. Now the ninth graph that we'll study is graph of ellipse. So basically in ellipse, there are two standard forms. x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equals 1 and y square upon a square plus x square upon b square equals 1. So if I'll draw the graph, it'll look like, so this is a comma 0 and minus a comma 0. So these are the two graph of ellipse. Now say for example, if someone says draw the graph of y equals minus of under root 4 minus 2x square. So if I'll square it, then I'll get 2x square plus y square is equal to 4. So if I'll divide it by 4, I'll get x square upon 2 plus y square upon 4 equals to 1. So basically it is second form of ellipse. And because there is a negative sign, so I'll take the part of an ellipse which lies below x-axis. Now the tenth graph is graph of hyperbola. Now again for hyperbola there are two forms. So in order to draw a hyperbola, we'll first draw two lines which we call asymptotes of hyperbola. And then we we'll mark these two points a comma 0 minus a comma 0. We will draw the two branches of hyperbola. Similarly, for the second one, we will mark the points on y axis and then we will draw two branches up and down.
Now in hyperbolas, there are two more graphs, and these two graphs are graphs of rectangular hyperbolas. X y equals c square and x y equals minus c square. Now in the first case, the product of two variables is positive, so that means it will either lie in the first quadrant or it will lie in the third quadrant. So it's a hyperbola whose asymptotes are coordinate axis. And in the second case, the product of x, y is negative, so it means either it'll lie in the second quadrant or it will lie in the fourth quadrant. Now say for example, if I have to draw this graph, y equals minus 6 upon x. So it means it represents a rectangular hyperbola which is x, y is equal to minus c square. So I'll draw the graph in second and fourth quadrant. So that is the graph of y equals minus 6 by x.